all, so... We'll see how much gold we can actually get. I'm not quite sure on that, though. But I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Like, damage-wise, doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, those guys dash. That could be a little scary. Those guys could be definitely a little scary. I think... Uh, I think I ran Poison Bomb not too long. Oh, yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? It's Lodi's here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully y'all have been doing A-OK. -okay. And, uh, yeah, if you guys end up enjoying it, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. Also, if you guys would like, you guys can tap that bell notification and get notified when a new video goes live. Uh, so you guys don't miss out, as I do upload every single day. You guys don't want to miss a video. Um, we're going to jump right on into this. We're going to play Axeldor, see how this goes. This should be pretty interesting, since we are starting a new island today uh, uh, for uh, the next few characters. So we'll see how this goes. We're going to jump right on into this. We are going to... Uh, use Stormbringer and see how things go on Jotunheim, baby. Before we do that, I want to go into settings because this still seems a little, a little odd for me. Alright. Hopefully that's still okay. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, let's jump right on this and uh, see how things go. Jotunheim, baby. With Jotunheim, though, we can unlock... Oh no, that's Nilfheim. Jotunheim. Wave one on hard mode or higher. Find a lost grave. Okay. So, we're not going to get it yet since we're running uh, easy, normal mode, but hopefully we'll get it here soon. And uh, yeah. Curses are new though. Freezing curse. As the time passes by, you'll begin to freeze, reducing your attack speed, cooldown, and movement speed. With each stack. Oof. Warm up your body by staying close to bonfires to clo to lower your freezing status for each fire type relic you own. The max number of stacks will be reduced by one. The max of five. Ooh. Okay, so this is going to be interesting to say the least. So I feel like once we get all the altars, we should be okay. Um, where do my stacks pop? Oh, okay, my curses are up there next to the wave bar. We're about to get our first stack. Actually, we could come down here. Reset that real quick. Oh, that's just like uh, Ace's ability. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to juice this guy up real quickly. More projectiles for our alt will be huge. Cooldown area could actually be pretty good as well. Cooldown projectiles, projectiles in area. Alright, that should be okay for right now. <clears throat> see how that see how well that goes. I don't think we'll be I don't think it'll be too bad. Okay. So basically you want to try and stay near fires as much as possible. Until you get like the stacks and stuff. But like right now, like we're we're okay. We don't need to. We don't need to do that. But I mean, coming down here and keeping us like at zero, but like time and everything, like we should be okay. Because it looks like every like I don't know thirty seconds maybe, you might get it. Maybe. I mean, there are quite a few bonfires, so there's not really too, too much to worry about, it looks like. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll take you. Because, like, here's another bonfire. There are a lot of... monsters around that make it a little, a little more challenging than I'd like. Okay... Yeah, I'll come down here, I'll get this guy. I don't think we are, we're going to have anything that paralyzes, though. 
but I'll definitely take it. Uh, I'm gonna take cooldown though. Uh, I guess I'll take this and this um, before I like dump a bunch of rerolls into this. I want these last two to be I prefer damage and projectiles. Okay, it looks like it wants me to take that. Problem is, we only have. What is that? Only two? It says we have five. Definitely does not look like five to me. That looks like two. Okay. I wonder if you were to run. Like, fire abilities, if that would, like, lower your stacks as well. Because it just says, um, I mean, it says relics or whatever. So, I mean, I wonder if you were to do that, if you'd be okay. Or if you would even accumulate any at all. Alright, we need to go down to this ascension, though, like, ASAP. Because I do like this um, curse thing, though, because it is it adds a little different twist, like another kind of like um, variable to the equation, which makes it very. Uh, I, I'd say it makes it a little more like you kind of have to be a little more strategic on uh, how you play, which is always enjoyable. Um, I don't think we need to really do anything else other than, um, hang out here. Um, let's see. I'm gonna do casting lightning first. Um... Okay, there. That's, that's like, perfect. Because they, we get the purple projectiles, but then we also get the uh, blue damage, which is perfectly fine by me. Perfectly fine by me. Okay. Damage isn't too bad. I'm still a little concerned on the projectiles, because we still only have, like, two projectiles, it looks like. Even though we're supposed to have, like, five. Okay. Okay. Uh, we do have attack speed, it looks like, and what's that? Attack speed and effect prob, which kind of blows. Like, effect prob is like, I don't know, I hate effect prob because, like, I feel like all the builds I run, it's completely useless on. I mean, Thyra, Thyra is, it's huge on if you, if you run poison and whatnot. Um, after him, always good on him. So... I wonder if, like, as you go, like, in expert mode and stuff, you'll have less less fires. Probably not, but I mean, like, that'd be a cool concept just to make it harder. Instead of constantly just spawning more monsters, you also give less braziers to be able to go and warm up, essentially. Dude, I wasn't paying attention there, and I got hit by the leaves. Let's try to look at the map to see if there's anything else that we really need to work over toward, but I don't really see anything. I don't really see anything to really that we need to really work toward. Well, that's actually huge. Heal there. Oh, there's a fire right below the... Okay, that's actually kind of huge. So we can just stay here and stay warm while also picking up the gold when needed. 11. We're going to roll probably our whole freaking life here. Um, I feel like I'm going to get hit quite a bit. I do like this one. So I'm going to take that, that one for the time being. Okay. I mean, probably taking the damage one would have been better because we were getting hit quite a bit. But then it comes down to like... Are we going to have enough health pots to run around and actually heal up? Would be like another kind of issue that we'd run into, which I don't know. I don't know if that'd be the case, so. Good chunk of XP there. I'll take another two gold. 
Okay, now I'm starting to see three. Three axes. Oh, Lady Bothill? Oh, she's huge. Oh, and fast. Oh, and she chases you around. She's huge, though. She's a freaking giant. Okay. You know what? We got some points. So I guess try and reroll into projectiles and damage there. Okay. Our damage is definitely a little weak. That's for sure. I don't think I can sacrifice any um, movement speed. Because if I sacrifice any movement speed, we're going to run into some real issues. Like, she would, she would hit us, like, nonstop. Okay. I mean, we're up to 91 gold, and I don't think I really tried to pick up a whole lot of gold this run. Okay, we killed her. That's huge. Not a lot of XP. We reached Noki's realm in Jotunheim. So I'll grab you. Oh, Helga's new over here. Obtain the benefits of the future Zodiac rune. <sighs> That's actually kind of good. Critical attacks have a 10% chance. Fire arrows. Thing is, like, we need to. If we had 100% crit, that's not really worth it for us. Five. I'll definitely take both of these. I'll roll. Give us. Uh, Glitch and projectile speed. No ring, but that's okay. I mean that that kind of puts us in a pretty pretty huge spot though. Puts us in a pretty dang huge spot. Oh, perfect. I'll take that. Um, I'll max this out, or at least work towards maxing that out. And I think I think we're I think we're sitting okay right now. We'll we'll see though. I do love this more. It does look like we have a little. A little gap, so it looks like two, two more projectiles will, will do. Oh, perfect! There's our ring. So it looks like we need two more projectiles. Gain a powerful random stat. So we need 15 gold for that. I feel like that one, like, you should always take. Like, why not? It's a powerful stat boost. And then you got 50 gold here. Like, we're totally going to take that as well. We just need to level up a few more times. And we got this. Burned enemies have a 20% chance purple flames burning them. Do not fade. Causing burns until the enemy dies. That's actually kind of huge for a fire build. I mean, 20% seems like it could be pretty high if you have, um, 20% seems kind of high, especially if you have, whoa, a fire build where you can proc pretty frequently. These ice scorpions, though, would look pretty freaking cool. I do like that we're slowly making our way, like, through the islands now, doing this, like, round-robin kind of thing. Like, we are working our way around. There will be a point, like, once we hit all the islands, that we'll probably end up running um, a few characters back-to-back. -back. But, I mean, like, that's, like, probably, like, 50 episodes from now. So, like, we got a ways to go before any of that really starts to happen. Oh, we got five points. Let's run over here now. Pick up 50 gold. Why not? And then we'll run over here. Okay. Having that ring is pretty freaking huge, though. The XP ring. Yep, we'll grab you. 
would it give us I think that gave us experience oh effect Rob freaking of course of course the one thing that we really did not need and it gave it to us I guess that's the only downfall about spending 15 gold on uh, on that so that's not really a super strong uh, <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be good if we do get, like, like if we picked up the burning arrows, that bow. I guess that could have been good for piercing enemies and lighting them on fire and whatnot. But other than that, like, I don't think it's really worth it a whole lot. Um, <clears throat> so we'll do that, and we'll get you. <clears throat> I do want projectile speed, for sure. So does that mean the beads? Did the beads take it down now? I want to experiment with this. Because the beads is technically a fire... Fire one. So does that mean I can only get four stacks now? We shall see. Okay, so I'm about to hit two. Getting that Zodiac rune, though, for cooldown, seems like that was huge. Okay, we're at two. Should take up to three here. Okay. Oh, we're getting like the mini ogres now. Now, will it tick up to four or tick up to five? Is my <clears throat> is where my curiosity is on. Okay, so yeah, the beads do count. So now we're capped out at four, and it's not going any higher. So beads definitely count. Or is it the burning upgrade that I got? If I take this. Hmm. Oh, and taking the boots knocked it down to three. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I want to try something else now. So I don't know if beads is the one that caused it, or if it was the um, me getting the one point into uh, this guy. So if I take this, okay. So I think it was the beads because that did nothing. Okay. Well, that's actually kind of huge. I mean, it's not hard to find uh, fires anyways, but that's that's actually good information to know. Okay. And you can tell that the attack speed really made a difference there. And movement speed and whatnot. So it definitely slows down quite a bit. What is this next boss? Master Shayer. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so you do like a spiral one. Okay. I feel like I'm always going to get hit by that. so hard to like gauge your eyes on like how those are blowing and whatnot okay and i'll use you book of stars and eh, i don't think that's really 95 again so this would put us up to i want to take that 
Because that should knock us down to two. Okay. Oh, and it, it didn't re-roll this. Projectile speed. So this looks like it re-rolls as long as there's something there. Interesting. Probably gonna take you. Immunity could be good. Take you. I have a ring. Ooh, heal one red heart could be kind of kind of big. Okay, I think we're I think we're in a pretty good spot. I don't know what I want to go though. Enemies paralyzed by this relic will explode and three more beams when dying. Burn enemies by this relic explode after dying. Fire moves towards enemies increases plus one duration. Burn enemies. I think this might be better, but we'll go with this. And we'll juice this up. Um guess we'll max this out now though. Alright, I think we're sitting in a pretty good spot. We'll we'll see we'll see how this goes. The fire damage makes the most sense though. With how things are. And we got a golden Noki. I mean, that's actually kind of big. But the first round, we got the plus, plus 10 gold. The second round, we got plus 50 gold. And now this one, there's, there's no plus gold at all. So we'll see how much gold we can actually get. I'm not quite sure on that, though. But I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. Like, damage-wise, doesn't seem too bad. Ooh, those guys dash. That could be a little scary. Those guys could be definitely a little scary. I think... I think I ran Poison Bomb not too long ago. But I really want to run Poison Bomb again, I feel like, on Pyra. We might run the bow, though. Because I think it's been a little bit since we ran the bow. Run the bow and, like, Revna... And just go super ham. Max out both of them. See where it leads us, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Duration damage. Eh, I'll take cooldown. I'll take cooldown there. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Eh. Alright, I mean, we got a lot of these giants here, which isn't too bad. Um, I think damage at this point, because taking XP is kind of, <clears throat> I feel like, kind of pointless at the moment. Just because, like, where we're standing, like, we're on the last wave, like, taking, taking XP is not going to help us at all. I wonder if you still accumulate... Um... Curses while in... The boss pit, or if there's braziers there to warm you up. Anyways, how how high can we go right now? Are we only at two curses now? Oh, we're only at one. Okay, so that's easy. That's actually super easy. That's actually not bad at all. We're not going to get a lot of gold out of this run at all. Which is kind of, kind of sucks. Because we're going to pick up this golden Noki and only have two gold to our name. I mean, I'm going to take it because that's still 2% damage increase. Which is like a no-brainer to take. Okay. A little, little different ogres it looks like now. 
Definitely doing a little bit, or not a little bit more damage, but definitely a little more HP. So they're a little stronger. Ten gold, I mean, I'll take that. I mean, if we can get a couple more ten gold drops, like, we'll be pretty huge. The only thing is, I don't know what we're going into with this boss, so I'm a little worried. I mean, we do have the revive. Which, hopefully we don't have to put that to use, but we will have it just in case we need to put it to use. But hopefully we don't. Okay, I mean, we're looking good. Damage definitely is a little low. It seems like. We have 22 points. XP is definitely going to be an issue. Like, we are definitely low on the XP front. For sure. I mean, yeah, we got 22 points, but it's like, how far is this actually going to get us? Like, damage-wise? Um, I'm totally going to take this. Max that out. Um, I'm going to take this. Yeah, see, like, we're, we're super weak on the XP front. Which is a little worrisome. Just a wee bit. To, uh, getting more abilities to wipe out, uh, these guys. But hopefully we can, uh do something here so this boss fight might take us a hot minute to to do but let's see where see where it puts us we got 20 percent 27 percent increased damage 32 i'm not gonna buy anything because like i want as much damage as that we can possibly get going into this um i'm gonna try juice this guy up i'm not gonna re-roll anything uh, I guess I'll take a point into these guys. Yeah, see, like, we we don't have a lot of abilities at all. So, hopefully we can wipe this guy out. Wandering Flame. Okay, so there are three Brazers, it looks like. I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna pop this. Ooh, okay, interesting. I mean, we killed him, but that's interesting. It blocks out, like, little sections of the, um, map that have, uh, like, um, ice spikes that come down. Interesting. We did beat Jotunheim, though, on normal, which is kind of huge. Um, I thought the boss was going to be a little harder, but then again, that ultimate definitely shreds through people, so I'm not, I, I guess I shouldn't have been too worried there. Um, but yeah, we do have 44 available leaves here to spend. Let's see, I think I want to go area. Like, area is kind of huge. Um, we could go another blue heart. Actually, it'd be plus two blue hearts. Um, minus minion damage could be huge for, like, next levels. Could take another revive. Don't have enough yet for this, which is okay. An extra epic shrine will appear after you defeat the second boss. I think that's kind of worth taking. When completed shrines have a 0% chance of resetting, each reset reduces the probability of the next. That's actually kind of huge to take. So I'm going to take that. Um, and I think we should probably go, each time you earn gold from any source, you'll have a 25% chance, duration, cooldown. I think we're going to go this one, just to max out this part of the healing tree. I think that's our best bet. Yeah, we're going to do this, and then next time, maybe we'll have 50 leaves at that point. Or we'll just go down the combat tree and, like, we'll max out duration, we'll max out cooldown, like, we'll just go down that tree and start maxing it out or whatnot, or we could even do structures. Gold, I'm not too, too worried about at the moment, but if we can get 50 leaves over the next, uh, I don't know, eight runs or so, we're definitely going to unlock this one, but... Yeah, this has been Nordic Ashes. If you guys didn't enjoy, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. And... Yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.